you do not go to C slash images, C colon back slash images, because uh, it's not going to find it on your other computers if you do that. You need to go to your projects directory, excuse me, your projects drive, and then the project name, and then images. And along those lines, you do not want to have any assets on your computer outside of your project directory. Okay, I know that uh, people will frequently have an images directory in their computer. They'll say like C images and then they'll put in a bunch of images they want to use over and over again. And that's that's great because it saves space on your hard drive, but it's not good if you're doing this kind of stuff. You need to have all of your assets inside that project directory which is inside your project drive for your your network. Yes, uh, if you are going to uh, retrofit an existing project for your ScreamerNet, you will need to pull that up. So let's do that. Uh, in case you don't know, Lightwave project files are just text files. So let's load one of those up. Okay, here we are looking at a scene file inside a WordPad. And uh, you don't want to go around monkeying around with these settings, the various settings, but uh, the one thing you do want to make sure is that all of your locations are on your network. So let's type a colon slash. There you can see there's one fine oh okay there's there's only one location. Uh, there's only one location rather in a drive. Here is a location that is not specifying a drive. It's basically looking from the start of your project directory. So that's cool. But just got to double check. Uh, if you are loading an existing project that was set up before you did your screaming net setup, you might find a whole bunch of them that are specifying physical locations in your drive, you know, C colon something. And you will need to change that to your network locations. So that's that. Uh, let's see. After you you change that, you may want to change save that to another file name so you don't, you don't overwrite your original. Load that up into Lightwave, and then uh, set your frame range, set your uh, where to save your files. Once again, on the network somewhere inside your projects directory, most likely. And then um, you now need to go into your command directory. Okay, the command directory is where you will set up little bat files. See all these files that say, say BAT? That means batch. And what these are, it's the same as going into here and typing in some commands, except uh, you can save them to a text file. and you can edit them, save them, and then you don't have, have to type it over and over again in a command window. It's just understood that if, if it ends with the .bat, when you double click on it, it will run it in a command prompt, which is very nice. So let's take a look at this. Um, the first thing you want to type in is Lightwave Screamer Net. So you would say X, this is X is my Lightwave directory. Programs, Lightwave Screamer Net, dot exe, uh, and a space and then a dash 2. Now this dash 2 switch is the version number of Screamer Net. Moving on, the next thing you want to do is to specify your command directory your config directory, I'm sorry. And uh, this this is the same exact text you would have that you put in your icon when you run Lightwave. And then there's another space and then dash D. This is your directory of your project. Okay. And then these two guys here, job one and act one, this is going to be different for every computer if you have multiple computers. Job 1 
and ACK1 will be for your first computer. And then you will save this, save a copy of it, and then right here you can see I have job 2, ACK2. Everything else is the same. And for me, I only have three computers, so I just make three of them. Job 3, Act 3. Okay, now I'm not going to run this because I am in the middle of a, a rendering session. I don't want to screw any, anything up, but basically what you do is you will go to... You will run Network Render. That will bring this panel up. Uh, make sure your command directory is that same demand, uh, it's command directory that we that we set up earlier. Um, you may need to change your maximum CPU number inside of Flightwave Options. Screamer init initialize. Actually, you the you don't want to do that yet. You want to first run those bat files. You will run bat one, the first one on your first computer and uh, actually you can just uh, run the first one even if you have multiple computers you can you can get away with just starting the first one up to get things started so on your first computer you will run uh, your bat file for your computer number one screamer init and it will go through the number of computers and uh, scan for these little command prompts that are running the screamer net commands and if you do do just the one it'll say this one's ready and the others two will not be ready and it'll say only one computer found and then uh, you would go add scene to list and you will open up your scene file and then down here you will say screamer render and you can begin rendering and then once that's started you can go on your other computers and you know for computer number two you will run the bat file for your second computer and then the third computer you run the bat file for your third computer and of course uh, I just skipped a step I just skipped a major step so bear with me on you on these other computers you need to set up your network drives exactly the same as you set up on your main computer this way, you, all computers have access to the same files on, on your on your main computer. So, uh, go back in the, in this video where it talks about setting up network drives, and you just do the same process. The only thing you don't do, you do not go and get the unique IP address for every single computer. You use only the IP address on your main computer. So, in my case. 10.0.0.4 will be the same number I use on all of my computers when I'm setting up these network drives. And if it's successful, it will pop up and you'll say, hey, look, there's all the computer files of my main directory, but I'm able to access them on my network drive. I, excuse me, I'm able to access them on my other computers. How cool is that? Well, that, once once you do that, you know everything's working. So, after your network drives are set up on all your other computers, you can go into your lightwave slash command file and run bat, the bat files for your second computer on computer number two, the bat file for computer number three on your third computer, and then you are ready to rock and roll. Once you run those, they will pop up here automatically. And then you congratulations, you are rendering with ScreamerNet. So whew, that's a lot of complexity, I know. It's a pain in the butt, but once you get it running, obviously you can uh, save time by rendering with multiple computers. If you only have one computer, you can render multiple scene files overnight while you sleep or while you go to the movies, which is, of course, nice. So. I hope this helped you out. Okay, I forgot one thing. This is very important.